I'm 20 years young, two, zero. And I'm moving out. Alright, so I just woke up and it is 5.32 in the morning, Wednesday, August 17th. My last day not living on my own. My last day living with my mom. My last day here in the house I helped my mom get. And I'm about to show you where your boy was since December all the way up until today where I slept, where I was grinding, where I was working at, where I was making up all these creative ideas, editing, all that stuff. I'm about to show you where King Sean was from December 2015 all the way up until today. Bam, this is it. Now, before I even get started, you might be like, oh, that's an unfinished basement. What the hell? You live with your mom in the basement. Ha ha. Uh, crack all the jokes. So you can do all of that. But little do you know, I'm the reason we living in this house. 20 years young, my mom really wanted this house. I put up a lot of money. I'm going to just say that. I put up a lot of money for us to get in this house. 20 years young. Who 20 years old doing that for their mom? I'm going to leave that there. I chose this basement. I could have chose a room upstairs that got carpet, that got a roof with a fan, that got a bathroom next to it. I could have chose a room like that, but I didn't. Why? Because I just came from, we just came from a house where everybody was sleeping on the same floor. And when I, when it's time for me to record, I'm hearing people talk in the hallway. I'm hearing people play music in their room. I'm hearing conversations, people, are talking and interrupting me from recording and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Everybody else stay up there on the on the third floor of this house. I'm gonna stay in the basement. That way I can record whenever I want. I can play music whenever I want. They can play music whenever they want. They can talk, walk in the hallway, close doors <laughs> as loud as they want, and it doesn't bother me. I chose this basement so I can work pretty much in peace. I said all of that to say, I chose this basement. I was gonna fix it up. I was gonna put two doors right over there. I was gonna make a or install a bathroom in there, fix up the ceiling, the roof, install carpet, have pretty much build a man cave. And I almost did it twice. I almost had people come through to measure the floor, to measure, you know, the where the doors was gonna be, you know, to fix up the ceiling. I almost pulled the trigger on that twice. I learned a lot by living in this unfinished basement. A lot of people might be like, ew, what the hell? What the hell you woke up to that every day? Yeah, I did. And it, it was not one day I woke up and was comfortable. Not one day since December 2015, all the way up until today, not one day I woke up and was like, damn, I'm comfortable. Pretty much what I learned from being in this unfinished basement that I was going to fix up. That was the plan, that's why I came down here. I just never got to it because something told me to stop every time I was about to. But what I learned is you really have to do things you don't want to in order to be the person you wanna be, do the stuff you wanna do. And this was one of them. I had to live in an unfinished basement and I didn't want to, nobody should want to, in order to get to the place I'm about to show you. So, we're gonna take one last look at this unfinished basement where your boy was from December 2015 all the way up until today, August 17, 2016. And then I'm gonna show you my new house. We are now inside, this is the front door, and this is what you're gonna see as soon as you step in the front door, the hallway straight to the living room and then the kitchen, but we're gonna go this way. I'm not even gonna show you out the front yard because we got some stalkers in the building, you feel me? But anyway, this is the dining room area. This is the big ass living room. It's echoing here, obviously, because I have nothing down here. This is the big ass living room. That's the garage door, closet, 
but uh, this is where the TV is gonna go in about never. Um, anyway, moving on, I'm not gonna be down here, uh, so I'm gonna be upstairs for the most part. So I might get a living room set, I might not, I don't know, anywho, moving on, bars. Uh, let me turn on the light, there it is. Uh, yeah, the light, the kitchen. Let me show y'all the best part of the kitchen. The refrigerator, the refrigerator. This boy, matter of fact, hold on, let me turn off the light. There it is. All right, I gotta turn the light off to show you guys this. This is, when I first saw this, I almost passed out. This, this, just, just look, make sure you catch it too. They be glow? Hold on, I don't think you caught that. I, 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 I. But if you need water, I got you. Water, water, water. I got more water in the uh, cabinet or the pantry, whatever. But if you need coffee, I got you. If you need some juice, I got you. I got you. Two rolls, two rolls. Oh, more juice, oh, Sprite, oh, apple juice, oh, grape juice, oh, if you need some fruit, I got you. If you need some more fruit, I got you with the grapes. Oh, water, water, water. Special shout out to the Brody, YG the Beast, because um, he reminded a young brother about that meal. If you don't know about that meal, you missing out. That sauce, though. All right. So my camera died and I had to go replace it, but back to what I was saying, the pantry. Uh, let me start up a hashtag real quick. Let me start up a hashtag real quick. Paper plate gang, yeah. Paper plate gang, if you ain't paper plate gang, you ain't shit. I'm just saying, you think I'm playing? Oh, you think, I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. So that is the kitchen. As you can clearly see the kitchen, my bananas over there. Um, paper towel as well. I got the Walmart bags from everything you see in the pantry, the freezer, the refrigerator. Um, yeah, so I gotta throw that away. That's trash pretty much. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, ooh, 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 that says. I'm gonna get to that tonight maybe. But anyway, upstairs though. Upstairs though, hold up. Ah. Now, before I even go upstairs, I'm sorry if this echo is annoying. I'm sorry, but new house, new smell, uh, emptiness, that, that just comes with it. But anyway, upstairs. I just moved in yesterday, August 17th. Today is August 18th. I might make a part two to this video or I just might make this a longer video and just wait until I got everything hooked up and show you guys the finished like gaming room setup or whatever. Pretty much show you guys when, every, when I got everything finished and how I want it because I don't have it how I want it right now, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway, so let's go. All right, so when you get upstairs, the first room to the left is empty. I might make this a, I don't know, guest bedroom or I don't really plan on having people come over here and stay. So I might make this a guest bedroom I might make this into a, another type of room, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the first bedroom you see when you come up the stairs. Moving on to the right, uh, my workout room. I got the heavy bag, well not heavy bag, but stand up bag right here. I be going ham on that, the push. God damn, they blasting music outside, Jesus. All right, well, all right then. Anyway, the push up things, I have roller, elliptical, this is the workout room. There's gonna be a lot more stuff in here. I might even put a TV in here. I don't know. Anyway, on to the master bedroom. Now just, oh my goodness, man. This is just, whew, let me turn the light on. This is just, that that little thing over there is not gonna be there uh, within a day or two. Um, I'm gonna just move that into the gaming room, but I just showed y'all where I was living at from December all the way up until a couple days ago in my mom's unfinished basement to this. My mom's unfinished basement to my own master bedroom. My own house at that. 
Who, man, I can't even thank y'all enough, dog. King Team, thank you for rocking with your boy for the past couple years and the years to come. We, we only going up, man. We not going down, we not looking back. We only going up. This is just, if this ain't motivating, I don't know what is. My mom's unfinished basement, like no carpet, the installation still in the ceiling, yellow things coming out the ceiling, to this. Man. I, uh, I can't even put it into words. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. I'm gonna get a dresser, TV stand, nightstands. Like I said, that's not gonna be in here after a couple days. I'm gonna show you how to closet last. That's going to be the last thing of this video, my shoe collection. I'm showing that last. On to the bathroom. Focus, bitch! Damn it, don't you, I, bro, focus. You was getting there, thank you. All right, anyway, uh, the bathroom. Ooh, there go your Oh, 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 all right, let me stop. Oops. Hey, God damn. J Jesus. Bruh, bruh. All right, then. You got the cologne, brush, mouthwash, mold toothpaste, uh, toothbrush. Uh, yeah, shower. Um, I believe the hot water not working. So I gotta get that uh, fixed or get somebody to come fix it. So, yeah, uh, the tub, that joint is humongous. I might be sitting my ass up in there as well soon, I don't know. But this is where your boy gonna be taking them. Anyway, uh, yeah. All right, so, um, before we jump into my gaming room, today is a new day, that's one. Uh, today is August 21st, Sunday. And pretty much when I was showing you guys my first floor, the kitchen, the living room, dining room, pantry, all of that stuff. That was a few days ago. So the 19th, the technician came through, fixed my internet because there was something wrong with that. I couldn't get online at all. I pretty much fixed my gamer room the same day. So now it's looking better. It's looking a lot better and I feel good showing it. So instead of talking our heads off, let's jump into it. All right, this is it. This is the gaming room right here. It's not 100% done because I still gotta buy stuff. I'm gonna put up some posters, paintings, whatever you wanna call it, on the walls. I'm still gonna be working on my gaming room for the next few months. It's a process, it's not gonna be how I want it in the first month, in the second month. It's gonna take some time, so anyway, starting off with this side. Obviously, this is where I'm going to be when I'm recording on the PC. You see my gaming PC towards the bottom right. I'm not going to put out the specs for that PC. Just know any PC game that comes out, I can play it in the highest uh, graphic settings, the highest settings, ultra settings, maxed out settings, any game. I can play it and I can play it in the highest setting possible, graphics and all of that. So this PC is a monster. It can play any game. So I don't really have to put out the specs, just know that. Anyway, this is the side I'm gonna be at when I'm recording on my consoles and then editing. That side is for PC. This side is for consoles. That side is for PC. Consoles, editing, you should get it by now. That room back there is nothing special. It's just storage room. Boxes on boxes on top of boxes, on boxes, on more boxes. So that's it about the storage room nothing special nothing too crazy moving on and for you guys that want me to show every single thing on my table let's go ahead and do it for you guys before you start ranting in the comments pretty much my beats by dre headphones uh charging station for my ps4 controllers i need to actually get a charging station for my xbox one controllers even though this is the only one i use playing the game and i use this one for the PC, I just plug it up via USB cable and just play 2K and play other games that you can use a controller for on the PC, so I don't know why that's over here. But, some games for the Xbox One, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Resident Evil 6, Homefront, whack ass game, and Halo 5, which I have yet to play. So I'm gonna see how that is within a day or two, maybe. I might hop on with the Brody J Rain if he on. But um, just a notepad right here, just in case I wanna add some notes. Uh, time stamp something when I'm recording, a funny moment or something like that. The Xbox One Slim itself. 
the PS4. Uh, I think this is Destiny. Yeah, this is the Destiny Edition PS4, the white one. I wanted a white PS4. This was the only white PS4 available at the time, and I got it, so yeah. And I actually gave away these, all of these. I spent like $210 on these, just this alone. And I gave them away on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. You're missing out on daily updates when I'm uploading a video, when I'm about to drop the video, when I'm editing, when I'm about to stream, when I'm uh, playing with subs, viewers, all of that. Doing giveaways, all of that. I think I'm gonna give away like six copies of 2K17. So follow me on Twitter. Link is always in the description box below. Follow me on Twitter. I'm giving away six copies of 2K17 in September. Follow me right now. Do it. Moving on, my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. Now, I will never forget when I hit 100,000 subscribers. July 4th, 2015, last year, I hit 100,000 subscribers on July 4th. I believe I received this plaque around September. It took, it took a few months to get to me, but it was worth the wait. And I'm gonna keep this with me forever. And it has my name on this one. But when I hit a million subscribers on this channel, because it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. When I hit it, and when they send me that big plaque, the bigger plaque, it's bigger than this, and the button is gold. I'm putting our name on it, King Team. Cause without you guys, I wouldn't be in this house today. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the King team. So shout out to y'all. I can't thank y'all enough for rocking with your boy for these past couple years and the years to come. I got this Hollywood, California statue. I took my mom to Cali um, a couple months ago, I believe. And yeah, well, for now, I would never forget that trip. We, we went on a helicopter tour and all of that. So that was amazing. That is it when it comes to my gaming room slash YouTube room slash man cave room or whatever you want to call it. It's not 100% done yet. I still got to set up a few things in here that I already have. I also got to buy a few things and set it up. So it's not done yet, but whenever I do get it done, best believe I will show you the finished look of my man cave, my gaming room slash YouTube room, whatever you want to call it. I will make a video and show you guys all of that stuff. But moving on to what I think everybody wants to see. Some people might even want to see this more than the house. My shoe collection. You know what? Let's go right to the closet. Look at all this fire. Look at all of this fire. All of this fire in this one room. Oh my goodness. What shoes are we gonna start off with today? Why not start off with the shoes I was rocking in today's video, not too long ago. I was wearing those today. Today is August 21st. I was wearing these today, so why not start it off with these shoes? Fives, period, to me, is creeping up in my top five. It's creeping up. I can tell you my top two right off the rip. Jordan 13s and Jordan 11s in no order. Those two are my favorite two pairs of Jordans ever. It don't matter what colorway. 13s and 11s are by far my favorite Jordans. Those are my top two, in my top two. These right here though, fire. We got some more fives, the great fives, yo. These shoes are fire. And let me tell you a little story. I bought these two years ago. 2014, I bought these two years ago and have yet to wear them outside. I have yet to wear these shoes outside and I bought them two years ago. It looks kind of like an off-white color, but that's just this, this yellow lighting messing up the color of it. But once again, fives are creeping up in my top five and uh, these are fire as well. All right, we going a number down. We went from fives, now going to fours. These four, and it's crazy because I actually hate fours. 
If it's not these, I don't like them. These are the only fours I really like. These fours are fire, and I do got that Nike on the back, big fella. Don't try me, big fella. Don't try me, big fella. I got the Nike on the back for both of them. Don't, don't, don't try no BS. Most fours I see are just hideous to me, but these are fire. I, I love these fours. Taking a break from Jordan real quick and pulling out the Nike ID Air Force Ones with the strap on them. I believe these are mid tops, not high tops, not low tops. Air Force Ones are classics, dog. These right here, fire. Nike ID Air Force Ones. Back at it again with some more Nikes. Fly Steppers to the left, Victor Cruises to the right. I'm gonna start off on the right. Victor Cruises, my boy on the Giants, my favorite NFL squad, my hometown team. I seen my team win two Super Bowls, beating them Patriots, them weak ass Patriots. But anyway, you know I'm forever have a beef with Patriots and Patriots fans because they can't beat us when it really matters. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, I really like these shoes. I believe these are uh, Victor Cruises' first signature shoe, but this isn't the first colorway to come out. But when I saw these, I was like, yeah, I got to get them. I want them. I can already, you know, put these together with a couple of outfits that I have already. And, you know, I need some more blue stuff because at the time I didn't have any blue shoes. So I went ahead and bought these. I wore them like three times and was like, damn, these not really that comfortable. They're not unwearable. Like it's not un uncomfortable to the point you just can't wear them, but you can feel it. Like you can feel it's not as comfortable as other shoes especially shoes i have moving on to the fly steppers i haven't worn these too much i really like the first fly steppers that i got matter of fact let me show you them right now these are the fly steppers i had before the black ones um i, I wore these to death like the tongue is like just faded like it's like dead like it has no stiffness to it no more i wore these through dirt hell and back like i wore these so many times like i don't know how many miles i walked in them shoes dog like these red ones right here i had these for like two to three years and i wore these shoes out like look at this <laughs> like bruh look at bruh i wore these shoes out you can see this is like some rubbery button feel to it and this is all suede so I like both of these shoes. I wore these through hell and back, and I haven't worn these too much, but I'm gonna start wearing them very soon. You should already know what these are. You should already know what these are. The Gamma Blue 11s. You cannot go wrong with these bad boys right here. Like, these shoes are hard to mess up. If you mess up Gamma Blue 11s, Dude, I, bro, you gotta be playing kickball in dirt or some shit. I, you cannot mess these shoes up. You just can't. These shoes are just, oh my damn. Oh my goodness, bro, the 12s. I had to whip out the 12s, the French blue 12s, the gem red 12. These are dead stock. I only wore these once and that was in LA. Like I pulled these out one time. I bought them when they first dropped. When they first dropped, um, 2016, this year, I didn't wear them until I went to Cali. That was the only time I wore my French Blue 12s was in Cali. I have yet to put these on. I bought these on release date as well. These are dead stock. The 12s though, this is my third favorite shoe. I created these in 2K so many times and I finally got them in my, it, it's in my face. Like I can actually touch the shoe. Bruh, the 12s dog, the 12s, the 12s. Oh my damn, oh my damn. I just keep pulling out more fire and then more fire and then more fire again. My second favorite pair of Jordans, the 13s. And I finally, finally, finally got my very first pair of 13s. I thought it was gonna be the He Got Games. Those are up next for me, but the Flint 13s. Bruh, bruh, fire. Up next, we got some more heat. These are Nikes though. I'm letting y'all know right now. I got three pair of foams so far. Three pair of foams, foam posits so far. I guarantee you, I'ma have over 10 very soon. I'm turning into a foam posit head. Yo, the Wu-Tang foams, the, <sighs> bruh, fire. 
Oh my goodness, my favorite pair of shoe in my whole shoe collection I have yet to show. I have yet to show, and it's a pair of phones. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Damn, the Northern Light phones, oh my God, bruh. When I got my hands on these, I just sat back and looked at the shoe for a solid 10 minutes. I had to cop these shoes, bruh. I didn't care how much I was paying. I needed these shoes. These are the most I have ever spent on a pair of shoes before. All I'm gonna say is I paid over $500 for these. These shoes to me are fire. Like, bruh, these, oh my God. These Northern Light phones, dog. crucial. Crucial, a must have. Oh my goodness. But let me go ahead and show you the whole closet. Cause I didn't show you all my shoes because some shoes are just not worth showing. Like these, like these right here. Like these right here. These are just not worth showing to me. I mean, they're clean, but I don't really wear it. I haven't worn these three times. These are shoes that I also don't really care about like that. Okay, let me explain these because some of y'all might be getting on me about this. The low sixes. I dogged these out. I really like these shoes still to this day, but I can't wear them because I dogged them out. I, like I said, I, I dogged these out. I treated them like crap uh, after a while. I had these for about two years, I believe, a year and a half, two years. So I just don't wear these shoes anymore. These were just something to pick up. These still are clean. If I was to clean them up, I could probably still rock these. But these? Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. If I'm not playing ball, I'm not wearing these. Like, I dog these out. You can see it. Look at the color. <laughs> Look at the color. It's like a dingy white. Like, it's not even white. I can already see the fuck KD comments rolling in. I mean, go, go ahead and spam it up in the comments if you want to. I don't really care. Uh, I don't know why y'all hating on a man like that. I mean, he made a move based on his life, his decision, and his career. Let that man do him. I don't like the move personally, but I'm not about to scream fuck KD and burn his shoes and shit like that. That's just not how I roll, big pimping, big fowler. That's not how I get down. All right, what's in this box is the last pair of shoes that I haven't shown you guys because I just got them in the mail today. Can you guess what these shoes are? You might be thinking they're Nikes. You might be thinking they're foams. Let's see if you got it right. My very first pair of Jordan 1s. Now, I'm not really too sure. On how, I mean, I like the colorway, of course. I wouldn't get it if I, I wouldn't buy it if I didn't like it. I'm not worried about how it looks. I'm worried about how it feels, but it has mellow on the tongue. I'm worried about wearing these shoes and then my like the bottom of my foot starts to hurt kind of like converses i'm worried about the bottom because they're so flat so i'm not sure if you wore ones before let me know are they comfortable to walk in for a long time are they not how do they feel let me know i might put my foot in these on video and just see how they feel all right so i put my right foot in the ones and i'm really digging these right now like i'm really liking how these ones are feeling and how they look especially how they look on foot these joints are clean and i know i gotta tighten up the laces the laces are looking goofy right now in these clips it looks crazy because it's poking out a little bit by the toe you can clearly see it right here while i get closer to the camera but I'm really liking these. The only thing I got to figure out now is if I can walk in them for like 20 minutes without my feet hurting. All right, this video is coming to an end. Thank you guys for 300,000. It's crazy. I will never forget this month. I will never forget this year. A young brother turned 21 in a few days and I moved out of my mom's crib at the age of 20 and hit 300K all in the same month. They can't get no better than this as of right now. Better things will come, but as of right now, man, I'm enjoying this moment. Um, I can't thank y'all enough. King team, y'all are the best. 300K, more is on the way. 500K is next. Then after that, that big one milli. I'm going to make it happen. It's going to come. Just wait on it. It's worth the wait. And I can't, re I can't wait to grind. I can't wait to get started. I'm on 2K17, Madden 17, all of that. But... Let's make something happen that never happened before. 10,000 likes, can we do that? King Team, can we make that happen? 10,000 likes? 
I think we can. It might take a little minute, but I think we can do it. 10,000 likes. Stop it smashing that like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out.